What's happening, Mays family? Before we get into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, America's number one sports book, FanDuel. Now, if you've never heard of FanDuel, FanDuel changed the entire world of fantasy sports by giving people daily opportunities to win. Not just in season, but year round. FanDuel is a fantasy sports app that makes it easy, safe, and secure for you to bet on anything from horse racing to college ball to NASCAR or anything else you can think of. And I just found out that FanDuel is officially live in North Carolina, and do you know what that means? Money, 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 money. I just play. <laughs> it kind of slow. Anyway, one of the best things about FanDuel is that it's easy to navigate. All you got to do is choose your sport, choose your bet, and, well, you place it. That's about it. And right now, new customers get a guaranteed $250 in bonus bets after you bet your first $5. Guaranteed, whether you win or lose. All you gotta do is click the link in the description box below to sign up and get $250 in bonus bets when you bet your first $5 on America's number one sports book. And again, I wanna give a huge shout out to FanDuel for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, click the link in the description box below to sign up and get $250 in bonus bets when you bet your first $5 on America's number one sports book. All right? Appreciate y'all for watching. Enjoy the video. I love you. Peace. Excuse me, sir. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna need you to buckle up that seatbelt and do not give me a hard time because I will have you escorted off this plane. Bro, chill. I just sat down. We ain't even moving yet. I don't give a damn. We moving or not? I'm the captain of this here aircraft, and if you can't abide by my rules, you can catch another flight or you can catch these hands. The choice is yours. Wait, I thought the pilot was the captain. You're just the flight attendant. Yeah, I'ma need security. Can you send security to seat number? Aye, 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 aye. Come on, come on, man. It's not that serious. Oh, I take safety very serious. Like throw your ass off this plane serious. Okay, okay. I'll put my seatbelt on. And I'll take this. Hey, man, what you doing? All suitcases go in the overhead bins. Okay, I know that. I was trying to get myself situated first. We ain't got time for that. I take care of it. You sit there, you buckle that seatbelt up. All right. Thank you, sir. And don't be mad at me, I'm just doing my job. You with the airline ass, that's what I'm gonna do. So don't get an attitude. Ah! Uh, no, no man, we're not doing that. Pack it up, you're getting off. Come on, pack, pack it up. I don't wanna hear that now on my flight. We're not doing that today. What the hell wrong with him? He all in my face talking to me like I'm crazy. I just sat down. I'm on my business, he come up here in my face. You better put your seatbelt on. I ain't need to change to put my seatbelt on. You talk to me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Whatever. Wasn't talking to you. I had enough of these damn pets. Excuse me, can I get security to escort a woman and a baby out of the broke people section? I, excuse me, I mean, economy. Thank you. Pastor, get to my damn nerves. I tell you, time and time again, put these suitcases in the overhead bins. You don't want to listen? I tell you what. You bet you'll listen now. Everybody, shut up and listen. Before we take off, please direct your attention to the flight attendants for safety information. First of all, make sure your seat belt is on. Cause if it ain't, and this plane start going crazy and you get thrown out the window, I'm not coming back to get you. Goodbye, you should have buckled up. Tell the Lord I said hello. Secondly, if we start losing the oxygen, hold your breath, <laughs> ain't no masks. We ain't got money for masks, so if we start having oxygen problems, hold your breath. I got BBS and on me. Best rapper in the game. Everybody know me. What's up, y'all? Oh! Man, stop doing that! Let me tell your little wide ass forehead something. I'm up here doing a safety presentation to save your little worthless life. So either you can listen or you can get up off my plane. I already know it. You do it on every flight. I done heard it a hundred thousand times. I don't give a damn how many times you done heard it. You gonna hear it again. And again. And again and again and again and again and again and again. Now pay attention. Or you can get up off my plane. Wrong with you. Hey, bro, with the wide forehead. Hey, check this out. Don't disrespect this airline, because just know I got your life in the palm of my hands. You don't believe me? Watch this. Yo, I just cut the whole plane off. And I can do the same thing in the sky. This whole plane will drop with all of us in it just because of you. So sit there, shut up, and pay attention, because everybody's life depends on it. You feel me? All right. All right, bet. All right, now like I was saying, in case of a water evacuation, which is highly likely, it's two emergency exits on this plane. It's one in the front and one in the back. 
The one in the back don't work. So if you sitting in the back and we have an emergency, I suggest you hunting me to dash your ass up to the front or you will be a goner. If you have any questions about these safety procedures, please do not hesitate to keep it to yourself. You should have Googled it before you got here. Enjoy the flight. Hopefully we make it. Goodbye. All right, now everybody, put your phones in airplane mode. <laughs> We could have told us they were about to take off. What do you think you're doing? Boy, you got one more time and next time I'm a swing. I said, what do you think you're doing? I'm about to eat my snack and mind my business. Why? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, sir. You're only allowed to eat the snacks that we give you. Give it him. What you mean? I got it from the airport. Okay, but did you get it from this airplane? It don't matter. Oh, uh, well, hold on. Not yet. It does so matter because what I say goes. Man, what's your pro- what? Where your manager at? I need to, I need to talk to your manager because you tripping. Well, 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 well. My manager is occupied at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. So you gonna have to deal with me. And like I said, no outside snacks. Man, what the? We don't do that on here. What you can do is, you can pick something from this basket. Are you still? Bro, these are the same chips I just had. Yeah, but not from this plane. It don't matter. I, 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 I. Damn. That'll be $15. Are you still? Here, bro. Here, bro. Here. Just, for, just forget it. And where you going? I'm going to the bathroom. Can I do that? Yo, why you following me to the bathroom? It's my job to ensure the safety of every passenger. Okay, but what you following me for? No need to be nervous. I'm, I'm just making sure everything all right. That's it. I'm not nervous. I'm just asking. Well, if you weren't nervous, you wouldn't be asking me why I'm following you now, would you? What? Bro, what are you talking about? Listen here. I just want to make sure that you don't pose a threat to any of the passengers or staff on this flight. Pose a threat? What you mean? You, what, you think I got a weapon or something? What weapon? You got a weapon? He got a weapon! He got yo, a weapon! Yo, what's, what's wrong with you? I ain't got no weapon. I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Hm. You sure got about that seat pretty quick. Go let me find out. Hm. I keep a blicky in the cockpit. Oh, so you the one with the weapon? Don't worry about me. All you need to worry about is getting your ass back in that seat. What up, whatever, man. What's up, Dad? Dad, you see my toenail clippers? What? No, Dad, I haven't. Well, where the hell they at then? I don't know. Excuse me, phone calls are not permitted on this flight. I'm gonna need you to hang that phone up right now and put it on airplane mode. Alright, alright, give me one second. It's my dad. I don't give a damn who it is. You need to put that phone. Okay, I'm gonna hang up. Give me like 10 seconds. You got five! Everybody remain calm. Everything is under control. Dad, I gotta go. I'm, I'm on a plane. You better not hang up this damn phone. Not till I find my toenail clippers. Dad, I don't know where your toenail clippers are. Who you raising your voice at? I'll sleep shot myself into the sky and come whoop your ass on that plane. Dad, I gotta go. You gonna get me in trouble. Don't you hang up this phone. Matter of fact, hold up. I'm about to FaceTime you. What you mean you gonna FaceTime? Ow! Oh, <clears throat> Dad! I can't, I can't be on the phone. I, I'm on the plane. I gotta put my phone in airplane mode. Not until I find my toenail clippers. You stay right here. Dad, I'm trying to tell you. I, I can't be on the but phone. But Dad, nothing. You gonna stay on this phone as long as it takes. Lord have mercy. What's going on with the damn? Oh, Lord. Cut the phone off now. Dad, I gotta go. I can't, I can't be Girl, on the Girl, don't, don't you hang up that phone. Hold on, 
damn toenail clippers. I could have sworn I had it. You got five stacking. Five. Dad, I'm gonna I'm I'm talk to you later. I got dirt on. Hang up this phone. I'm not playing with you. Three. Dad, you gonna get me in trouble. I gotta go. Two. Hey, go right here in the damn refrigerator. <laughs> One. I'm about to hang on right now. Phone call? Go ahead. See what the hell happened to you.